Hi guys, Jamie Francis here again. Um, just here to show you how to use my old school film grain and stock resource download thing. Yeah, I, I don't. It, it just a bunch of old stock footage, um, kind of elements that you can use for that kind of grungy look. Let me just show you how to how to get it for free and and then use it in your productions. So let's just quickly do this. So I'm gonna go to my. You're on the page here. Free old school grungy grain stock resources. I'm just gonna put my name in, my email, and then I'm gonna submit and get free old school film resources today. Click that. Now it'll ask you to activate the submission description. Show up here. Confirm your subscription. Click that. And then confirm the link below. And then it'll send another email where your resources will be. So click on that. You click this link here, free 4K, title wiggle and old school grain plus counter. And it, what you're gonna be using is the promo code here. Export it out and these are your three files. You have the 4K counter leader. Have the old school grain, and then this is the kind of the important file. It's the title wiggle. Now, um, to explain this, it's probably a lot easier just to show you what it looks like. So let's just open it up. So if you edit this text, you just click on it, and let's change this. I'm gonna change this to kind of like a because it's my video, I'm gonna write my name. <laughs> write your name in there, but then if you play this back, it's kind of got this cool old kind of jiggle to it. Old school film wiggle, that's what I'm calling it. I guess that kind of, the title is a kind of cool little bounce. I don't know, maybe this is useful for you. Maybe, obviously, if you got this far, you're kind of interested in what this is. I am going to show, I'm going to add uh, my grain foot to this, so I'm going to drag this grain, drag that on top, and I'm going to overlay the mode, or you can do other ones like screen or something. So I don't know, maybe this is useful for your uh, little videos you're working on, or titles for movies or something. Um, I, I really like the look. Um, it's kind of like something I've practiced before and, and thought, hey, if I liked it, maybe one of you people out there want to try that out. Um, it gives that kind of film title kind of wiggle. I don't know how to explain it exactly. Um, but I find that like video, the stuff that's shot now um, in a lot of movies people put together, the titles sometimes look very slick, like almost too slick. Like if you're making something with, you want a little more edge to it, or a little, like a little bit of a kind of an older feel to it, like from the 70s or 80s or even the 90s, you want to you want to kind of get that organic sort of like bounce to the your titles, or even you can even use this on footage. Um, uh, I would probably make it a little more subtle, but it gives it kind of that really cool. It just just something about it. I don't know. You have to kind of just see it to, to know what I'm talking about. But thanks for joining the Filmmaking Resources newsletter. I don't send much more than once a week, um, if that. Um, so I try to pack it as much uh, with as much value as possible. If you have any questions or any kind of help you need done, don't hesitate to comment on this video or uh, email me. Thanks, thanks a lot, and have a great day.